getting on for four o'clock. I managed to find Radio 4 on the long way, so I've been listening to Radio 4 play of the afternoon. Uh, there's kids over there swimming. Jumping off the top of the rock into the water. Must be uh, quite deep. Okay, fish wise, nada. Couple of bleeps again. I've still got um, crayfish body on one, I've got red liver on the other, red liver on the other, on the um, deep water rig for the silo, which I'm not spent till this evening, and the other third rod in is sweet corn. That's not even getting touched, that I can't understand. Uh, normally, sweet corn works no matter where you go, so. So, yeah, it was hot. I sweated it out in the bivy. I didn't bring my chair this time, next time I'm bringing it. Because I can just sit in the shade out of the way then. Uh, idiots on bikes. Uh, but yeah, it's gorgeous. There's now a bit of a breeze. That 27 degrees that we were getting is now passed on. It's getting less and less. I think it's only about 4 o'clock. I've got till tomorrow. Probably one o'clock tomorrow I'm getting picked up. I'm hoping tonight gives me a chance of a big catfish. I'm gonna make another rig up and put three cat master halibut pellets out as well, so on another rig the same. Hopefully that'll do the work for me. Ah. <sighs> Not a lot happening. There's a, I think um, I know there's trout in here and there's black bass because the top is just constant fish feeding. You can't really see them with this breeze on it now, but they have been just topping like crazy. And come nine o'clock tonight, getting on for ten, the whole surface is just looks like it's raining. I'm uh, coping with ants here. The whole of the ground here is just covered in ants. It's crazy. No matter as soon as you put something down, they're crawling all over it. Um, there's not a lot I can do about that either. Just got to uh, cope with it, as they say. Well, save some of this battery just in case. Talk to you later. <laughs>